Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. We'll be doing a dress with cape and it's going to be an overlap dress. I'll be using three yards of material to do this tutorial. And if this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button and the bell. The measurements we're going to be needing are the under bust, half length, the full length, the shoulder, the sleeve, the, length, the round sleeve. We'll also be needing the bust under bust the waist and the hip circumference measurements so let's move on all right i'm starting with the front first and i'm going to work on the half length the half length is 17 inches and here I added 1.8 and 1.5 in that's 18.5 that's the half length the bust measurement is what I'm folding with and the bust is 44 so to this me to this uh, measurement I'll be adding 4 inches and be that's because I won't be using lining I have a thick fabric here so the bust is 44 plus 4 divided by 4 is 12 inches but because of our style, I need four more inches to add to the front so as to overlap. So I'll be adding the four inches to the 12. And here I have 16 inches in total. All right. So this is my 16 inches folded, which is the bust measurement plus four divided by four. It's still the same as your measurement divided by four plus one inch. So I'm going to cut first. From the length and like I said I added four inches so I'm going to measure the four inches and just hide it first before I continue with my measurement so this is the four inches and I'm hiding this so that I can have my normal measurement of 12 inches okay the next thing we're going to do from here is to take the shoulder measurements which is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 inches. The ham hole for this measurement is 9 inches. You can use 8.5 depending on the size. And here we have the bust of 44 plus 4 divided by 4, which is 12 inches. The under bust measurement is 14. And I'm adding 1 inch to that because of my joining. So I have 15 inches. And the under bust circumference measurement, same as the band, is 40 inches. So plus 4 divided by 4, I have 11 inches. So I'll just connect this. You can just trace it out in case you don't have the curve set. You can trace it out this way. And in case you have it, just go along with that. So we have the ham o, and of course we have from the bust to the under bust circumference measurements. All right. So let's cut this first before we move on. Okay, so working on this now, the next thing I'm going to notch first and I'll unfold. Then from here, I'll take my princess dart, which is going to be from the normal measurement, the, from the notch part, the, the dart measurement of four inches. And that is coming all the way straight to the nipple point. You can take the measurements. The nipple point from the shoulder is 10 inches. So the 4 inches is coming all the way. And on the shoulder, I have my 3.5. You can make it 4 inches. So I can have a princess that. So guess we can cut this too. I'm, I 
I need to divide this. And the neck measurement. The neck measurement as well is going to start from the notch part to get the width. And the width I'm using in this measurement is 3 inches. 3 inches and the depth of 3.5 inches. In case you want a lower measurement, you can use 4, you can use 4.5, depending on your choice. So it's going to be a round shape, and I'm bringing it all the way down. So I'm going to cut this straight down. And on the shoulder, I'll slant my 1 inch. This is going to come from the shoulder, and I'll slant the 1 inch. So after joining the princess that we're going to have this there's the notch parts coming together so this is what we're going to have afterwards all right let's continue let's move to the base all right the base of the front panel the full length of our dress is 47 inches so you can just bring your tape roll this way 17 inches then the length of 47 and here i have three inches added to it still the same as your full length 47 minus 17 which is the half length so we have 30 and i have three inches added to it Alright, the hip measurement is what I'm folding with, and the hip is 48. Still plus 4 divided by 4, that will give us 13 inches. Same as your measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch. Alright, so we've I folded 13 inches. And I'm going to start with the waist measurement. Waist is 44, plus 4 divided by 4, I have 12 inches. And the distance between the waist and the hip, you can measure that 6, 6.5 or 7 inches so that I have the hip of 13 inches. And at the base, I'm going to pencil it a bit. So I'm going to subtract 1 inch from the 13. That means I have 12 inches and this is my 12 inches. So I'm just going to connect the shape and then I'll cut it out. Also, I'm going to notch the middle. Alright, now we move to the back. Okay, the back now. Still folding with a hip measurement of 48 plus 4 divided by 4. And that is 13 inches. So to the back, I'm adding just 1 inch. I'm adding 1 inch. That will be 14 inches. Now the shoulder divided by 2. That's 7.5 plus 1 will give us 8.5 inches. Or oh, better still, I've gotten the length. The length is 47, remember, plus 3 inches. So that is 50 inches. So I've gotten the length, which is 50. So the 1.5 I had it, you can just measure and then you hide the 1.5 inches then from there continue the normal measurement so here we have 7.5 which is the shoulder measurement you can decide to hide to add more than 1.5 you can make it one 1.5 or two inches the arm or nine inches then i have the bust measurement plus four divided by four that's the bust is 44 and that is 12 inches. This is the under bust measurement. And under it, I have the under bust circumference plus 4 divided by 4. The distance between the under bust and the waist plus then the waist measurement plus 4 divided by 4. 
So you can always get the distance on the person. When you're taking the measurement, just take the measurement, the distance between the under bust and the waist. Also, you take the distance between the waist and the hip, so as to get the circumference measurement properly. So I have all my circumference measurements, the waist and the hip. So from the hip now, I'm going to subtract one inch at the base. Okay. So now all I need to do is connect the shape and cut. The ham o. Can please bring out the shape before cutting? Okay, so this is the back. I also need to divide this. I need to divide it and I'll bring out the measurement. The neck width. We have the measurement of three inches. That's after the 1.5. The one we had it you can just hide it then you take the width measurement of three inches and the depth of one inch still a round shape and also i need to slant the shoulder by one inch In case you're watching this tutorial, this is how to cut. You still need to watch the concluding part, which is the sewing. Remember, we upload both the cutting and the sewing. And if this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button. Okay, so this is the back. Let's move to the sleeve now. Alright, the sleeve now. The sleeve length is 12 and here I have 14 inches. That's plus 2 inches. The round sleeve measurement is 14 divided by 2, 7 plus 3 inches for folding. And here I have 10. Now I'm going to measure 4 inches down to create my arm O. And the round sleeve 14 inches, that's 7 divided by 2 is 7 plus one inch seam allowance, that's eight inches. So from my eight inches, I need to slant to the four inches I measured, like this. So I need to slant from the four inches. And from the middle, I'll create my ham O. So, the cutting of the cape will be done in the sewing. That will be the concluding part of this video. So I'm sure you don't want to miss it. So kindly subscribe to the channel. And remember to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at o Africa TV. Follow me as well on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. All right, that's the sleeve and the next thing from here, I need a, a facing, just a kind of material to turn the front part, to turn it in. So to do that, I'll just fold my fabric. And I'll place the front on it. So. As soon as I'm, I've gotten to the, the notched part, I'm okay, and you can still increase it. That's just like four inches. The four inches that we had it, you are good to go, and you can add to it, you can make it five or six, depending on your choice.
all right so we're going to complete our video that's the sewing and the part two of this tutorial 